uh, in this video we'll be focusing on how to connect uh, MySQL uh, login form with uh, using the angular right so uh, angular to use this ajax call using ajax call uh, it will be uh, easier for you to communicate with a front end with a back end like a mysql uh, now first of all so to create uh, i had a two two projects uh, previously one is a login form where i had been added the uh, login form uh, purely using php only using a php our previous video we had with a login form uh, where i have added this login form <coughs> with a uh, jquery uh, using a jquery i try to connect the login form with a uh, mysql with a jax call using a jquery uh, in this video is a login form too so i'll be uh, creating the same login form using angular js right so i build the login form using a bootstrap which i have already done it and i'm trying to connect this one using a uh, uh, angular js right first of all so i just do create one a file as a HTML file I name it as an index uh, okay so I just give the name as a login form okay now what I do I just copy the same form this is my form right I just do copy this one and I paste it inside the login form yeah so I have just created this one Okay, so I just do paste it and uh, let me just see how does it work. So I'm not, not added anything. So I have to add a bootstrap. Uh, this, you need this one to be work. So I just add a bootstrap. I copy it and I paste it here. So the bootstrap uh, added in my system, in my project. So I just can drag and drop. This drag and drop is only possible in HTML using a PHP Storm. This all has been done with a PHP Storm as ID. Uh, page for some do provide a drag and drop property okay so i have added a bootstrap here i have not added a jquery okay so that's what uh, we have let me just see how does a form 2 will work so i'm just going to load this form 2 okay so here we have so the form looks the same uh, just you can add a padding here right so what i will Plus I'm also done with a 4% of a padding. It's a standard padding with a 4%. Okay. Uh, now how do I can add a AngularJS? For that I have to bring one file here. So I open a include. So inside a include I have a angular.min.js. I'm just going to copy this one out. And I paste this here in my project. So the angular. Yeah, I have added an angular. Let's close this all not required now okay so i'm just going to drag and drop the angular right if you want a jquery so you can add a jquery also we have a jquery.min.cs otherwise i have it inside the include i do keep the include folder every time right so if you want a jquery to come in so you can add it but always remember this jquery is better to add before the angular don't add it later the angular because uh, some function people say some function in the angular do works on a jquery so angular can be a last file so even the bootstrap.min.js you have so jquery should be a first then the bootstrap.js file okay uh, so now i'm going to make this file as an angular file so the first thing what you have to make how to make it with angular so you have to give a ng hyphen app that's the first thing you do right app as a my app some name you have to give so i give it as a my app and then you have to add one ng controller it's left to you you directly want to use with a default app that also you can do but i'll use some ng controller so i put the entire body as a controller otherwise i can put the controller two or more controller that is also can be possible so since i'm using only one controller so i put ng controller my controller here some name you just need to give it and then my angular script starts i just put the embedded script with the angular so I take one variable sum app is equal to angular uh, dot module module so the module name will be a my app is a application name and then uh, this part you have to give that's a single application what it means so then you can write app dot controller you're going to add a controller yeah and the controller name will be a my controller 
right so same name you have to give and then will be the function so you have to give one scope variable and then you have to give one http variable this is for the ajax and the scope is for the normal uh, the angular variable right so let me just tell you this this is an application you have to give the same name and this is a controller you are adding the controller this thing up. okay now once the angular has been added now you can put the property here so what is the benefit of angular angular is so damn quick with its uh, documentation so uh, here i don't put the id now i put it as ng model um, this is how i declare the scope variable inside the html so i give it as a u name right where in the jquery i had given the u name as id uh, here i put it inside the ng model so here also ng model uh, is equal to pass right so now uh, you can give a name name and all is not required if you, if you don't want it you can remove this one stuff this is only required when you are passing a, a request from a php and you want to access it the other end with a name that can be possible but here is not necessary if you don't want you can remove this stuff here even this name also you can remove now here uh, what i do uh, when you click on submit something need to be happen so you give with the ng click right ng click uh, something need to be happen so i just give validate is a function so i have to create this function uh, there up so i have to give ng click when you click on ng click it should be validated now i go up inside the controller so i create dollar scope dot validate is a function okay inside this function what i'm do so when i click on a submit when i click on i don't write a type is equal to submit i give a type is equal to button if i give a type is equal to submit what happens so it goes to the action the action is null since it is reload the page right since it is a button so it goes to ng click it goes to a validate so validate function now i'm going to validate it i'm going to connect it to a database uh, first of all i'm going to take the username value as well as a password value so i take what username you name is equal to dollar scope dot u name what is this u name u name is this ng model right so whatever you have put inside a ng model that you can access with the scope this is a one and then similarly so i go with a pass pass and then i write it as a now you want to see it i can put an alert and i can show i'll show you only a password and don't show you a username so let me just run this one so this is my login form i put the username i put the password one two three it gives me a password it doesn't give me a username so because i put the alert for only a password okay fine so i got this one so again you can do a validation in the same stuff so if uh, you name double equal to null so or uh, you can say you name double equal to null or password double equal to null or password double equal to null if that is a condition you can put a alert telling telling that please fill both the fields So whatever is necessary, you can put this one out. Uh, even you want to do a pattern matching, that also can be given. So if the username need to contain some yet or something like a pattern matching can be done. Okay, else, else means I have to validate this. So okay, now I have to find. I have to send the uh, a request uh, using uh, Angular. So how do I can send is using a dollar HTTP right so to make this one applicable so you can get dollar http dot get to write this function you need to have a dollar http here inside a function and even uh, you need to have a dollar scope dot u name you need to pass the dollar scope here there's a reason i have taken a two variable here one is a scope variable another one is a ajax http variable for the request and other stuff okay so get 
so I have to write a get so <clears throat> last time I had written the get login is the same kind of stuff what we have so I'm just going to give the same form get login I'm going to copy this the same thing will work for me right same thing will work for me so as I have said you it goes here get so I say get login get login now I have to pass the parameter what are the parameter username and the password right so from login okay I close this so get login we have you have a uname one and the password one that you have to pass it now how to pass it the parameter is using a params you have to give it as a params colon then the parameter you have to pass this is a, a little complicated way what you have but then you have to pass uname one as a uname then password one why you have to pass password on because in this get login you have a uname one and the password one whatever the value you had been passed that will go and check it okay so you have to pass the parameter so then then you have a function right if it is successful then it, then it will come to this function so you can give it as a response response or a data anything you want you can go ahead with that response now here the beauty is this the same function we have already seen get login so i'm going to take a variable result so is equal to i'm not going to make json dot pass as we have done here in the jquery i just make response dot data response dot data will get me the data so i say this if response double equal to yeah double equal to null what happens we'll see this uh, so username remains a null uh, if it if it is passes uh, if this query uh, becomes true it's a valid let me select start from login where the username is equal to given username password is equal to given password if it is matches then at least one row you'll get an insider result so one row means this one will become true and you will be fetch, fetching the uh, values from this entire row and from that row you will be accessing the username and that username you are going to put it inside a dollar username otherwise the dollar username will be null right and that username you are going to pass it as a response whatever you put inside a echo that will be a response so now if it is a null so then I can say alert login unsuccessful If it is a null, it should be unsuccessful. Else, I can put here alert some user user. I say plus. So what is that? Result result plus. I concatenate it is valid. User the name is valid. Otherwise, I say it as a invalid okay so otherwise you can say directly are login successful login unsuccessful but also can be given so I just reload the page I have a username Rohan and I say one two three it just says it gives me a error okay SQL I have not added a SQL that was a problem I see here in the login I have include sql.php I have not added it uh, we have in the previous project yeah, I just do copy it this it so this is what the connection string the SQL has it without the SQL this doesn't run so you have a SQL here so now this works fine for me yeah one two three okay i click on a login so it says user rohan at gmail.com is a valid right so yeah i enter something else then it says user okay it says is a valid
okay i think it gives you a null here so i write a other one result double equal to null i think it provides you a null so then the user will be unsuccessful uh, yeah we need to understand this stuff um, because nothing come inside a result it can be either undefined or a null I do one, two, three, four. Wait, I say what is it is it? It includes two else it is null. So let me just check if I say not result. So I think it will be giving you a undefined. Let me just print the alert what do you have. It will be a null. Login unsuccessful otherwise. Okay, so we are getting into some problem here. Mm. I want to check this one out. So I see if the result not equal to null, we'll go in the other way out. Check this one. It's a one of the same, but one of the same. Equal to null, so then I see. Equal to null. I mean, really does not equal to null. It's so surprised here as Yeah, so we got this one now. So if it is a one, two, three, so it comes here. Yeah. So now, so this is how we got uh, because uh, JSON's are in code. I think it will pass your object. 
that is a problem so if you are making as a json dot end code uh, then you have to count uh, you cannot put result is equal to null i think it will pass your empty object uh, you have to check whether the object is empty or not otherwise since i'm not passing a any particular value so i don't pass json dot end code i directly pass it as a one string and then that string can be a null or a not equal to a null so there's a problem what do you have now it just goes here rohan and then one two three four it just takes it to the other page okay uh, so what possibly can be done now if your login is successful so you want the user to go to other page uh, that also can be possible so i have a result.html i just do copy here uh, inside the login form yeah so i have a result page welcome to a result page you want this page to be seen uh, once it has been logged successful so is the user is valid so then you directly can write window.location.hreference uh, reference and you can say it as some result.php result.html result.html otherwise you you do you want to set a cookie that also can be added and you in the result.html you can access the cookie or you can get the cookie uh, that chances also will be there so if i login is successful so it gives user is valid and then it takes you to the result page right now if the login is unsuccessful right it just says login unsuccessful and stays back in the same page right this is how you can add a simple login form using angular js yes thank you